everybody, Horfave here. Welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Ah, last time we... Uh, yeah, I want to show up in the party. We completed Satoru Mars and did a ton of side quests in there. This time, we're going to be mainly focusing on story. There isn't really going to be a lot of side quests in, in this part. However, uh, if I can check the map of Magna Forest... Uh, oh, is there no time travel... Or, Time attack stuff anywhere here? If there's no time attack stuff here, I... Uh, let me... I don't like the damn Fish Thunder. We're gonna do some time attack stuff starting off just because I know this is gonna be a shorter part than usual with how I'm setting up, and I forgot to do some time attack stuff last time. It's like been a while, so yeah, let's go do that because I forgot to do that. <laughs> Starting off, I know, Mac the Forest is a place that we need to do. Mac the Forest has one of my favorite areas in the game with its town, but Mac the Forest itself is one of my more least favorite areas of the game. And there's Trial. We beat that one, we did not beat this one. Fair game. Let's. Ah! Freaking do I found Uh, yeah. Oh my god, fucking Joy Con Drift. Let me say yes, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, this joy kind of is gonna be the end of me. Alrighty. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I meant to do this last time, but hey, since this isn't gonna be as long of a part as like other parts, yeah. This is how we're gonna handle it. Ah, uh, hammer beat. Double. Boom. Where's the enemies? Oh. Leave this to me. Don't get careless, guys. They're growing. Air beat. Short drive, and uh, yeah. We got this. Clear. Where's the last enemy right here? Oh, here. Air beat. Uh, phone number. And then, uh, fill my talent game. Bubble. Take your edge. Uh, kill slaps. War swing. Uh, you are not dead! Alright, please tell me that was a mess, right? Uh, I do not want to do that again. Superb! On stage thrill! Here is little something. Thank you. Cabin skirt and cabin punk. It's cool. It's not very good, but it's more of a cosmetic item than anything. Uh, what friends do you like tack on today? <sighs> yeah. Now we beat the first one. Mm -hmm, this fucking Jack Under. Fair game. We play at Charlotte. Okay. Not on our stage expecting good record. <sighs> you expect good record. I will deliver. Alrighty. about to die. This is just what this is using up my time. Like it's about to die. Let's get this party started. 
Keep up community. And then damage. Thunder bullet. Backslash. Uh, sword drop. That'll do some damage. And then break. Our tension's good too. Okay, perfect. Break! Yeah, we got it, we got it, we got it at this point. Came back. Break! Put it! Bubble! Monado! Buster! That's not Buster. That's not in the same spot that I... I'm used to having Buster in that spot, damn it! Fuck. That's my fault. But hey, Monado's shield, I guess. Like, the could not so it's plan. Chain attack already! Stream Edge! Popple! this rank on that because that's just yeah it's new high score Yay! damn I did not get s rank heals cards vision smashed one a little something I probably was a little slow I'm on it very good going that feels faster than last like time this place is going easy but on us. everything else felt worse Superb. But I got Max anyway. beyond words. Yay! All right. I've been waiting. Our safe been waiting. What friends feel like tackling today? Well, the walls have eyes. Which, yeah, let's do this. Walls have eyes. Soon. To come back soon. Make sure we're all good on these. Oh. Oh. I. They put Dunbin in my party. I. Frickin. Uh, put down. Oh god. The problem is gonna be the fucking. Uh. Mechon. Yeah, whatever she yeah, wants to fucking do. You like that? Right. Nice one. Then bit you're right. Over this way. Crushing time. Make it a quick. Leave this to me. Come on, Phil. Double. Nice one, right. Three. Hammer beat. Shake your edge! Kill slash! Good job, everyone! We did it! Oh, oh. We can do it! Don't rush! It's alright, we came through! But we mustn't be killed! Nice job! Time for pain! Don't hold 
On this yeah, well played. We did it. That has to be us. We went through that so fast and with like 30 chain tacks and toppled how many enemies? Is new yeah. high score! Yay! Like really. Here is little something. Squeaky. Yeah, we went through that real nice and quick. Damn trial. Uh that's 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 here you go. So Dumban! Right. Damn, no. Shulk. It's a little annoying for Monado. A little annoying for Monado. But with no Monado art uh, to enchant. On the mecha, that's gonna be annoying. Alrighty. Time to rumble. Yes, you're right. Focus our efforts. I want it. Come on. Right, that's 
Bleed! Break! Topple! Tommy Lizard wants to be done. Come on. We're counting on you. Oh yeah, baby. Alright, break it, please. I have so many gills I have to pick bleed to it's like break. Yeah, it'll be fine in a bit, I don't think. What should we do? Break it. Don't worry about it. Just don't lose your focus. Blossom Dance! Blossom Dance was the finisher! <sighs> Man, that's painful without shock. <sighs> Even if Dumb Bandit was a weapon. Archsage thrilled beyond words! Yeah, we were slow. Something. We were slow in that. Got it! Good job, everyone. Anytime, any place. We have to have gotten that this time. That was below four minutes. Is new high score? Yay! Uh, you gotta be kidding me! Come on! I've been waiting. Alright, well, I'll come back to getting this S rank later. This is taking up just so much of my time. Trying to get this damn S rank. I'll go get it later. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll try and get it like <laughs> another time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, back to Magnum Forge where we're actually going. <sighs> with actual story stuff and not almost an hour of that. But yes, I have been recording for nearly an hour just on the time trial stuff. Wow, that that was annoying. That was incredibly annoying. I, I didn't get a shrink on that restricted one despite trying multiple times. Uh, yeah, yeah, I... What an absolute frustration. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I... Anyways, on to Magna Forest. Oh, God. Garin! Damil! 
bestow the light of your life unto me! Who turned up the heat? I've never seen such a dense forest. Me neither. How much further? This must be the back of the Bionis. If Shulk's vision is right, we've still got a long way to go. You mean go on in this heat? I'm sweatier than a brog's armpit. We'll have to search for the best route. Sadly, until we find a way, we'll have to put up with Rhine's stench. Shala? Hmm. We must be outside the tower. Welcome, true heir to the Monado. Father! Weak. We can pathetic! What or who are you? You will pay for what you've done! You will know the pain and suffering you caused the Emperor and Fiora! A silver faced Mechon. And who was that girl? These visions show me people and places I've never seen. If only I could find out what they mean. We could use them to our advantage. Look over there. A rope bridge. It looks Homs made. Not Homs. Nopon. Though a lot of them have settled in our colonies, the Nopon are originally native to Machna Forest. Do you think they'd know the way to the Bionis head? Uh, I can't say. But walking around in circles isn't going to achieve anything. Our best bet is to look for their village. favorite villages in the game when we get to it. Uh, it has one of my favorite villages in the game. Probably my absolute favorite village in the entire game. The back of the forest itself is probably my least favorite area in the entire game. There is a lot. It's huge. We will not be exploring the entirety of this place during the first trip or the second trip. It's gonna be a while before the entirety of Magna Forest gets um <coughs> Gets explored. Landmark, Acne Town, Acne Tablet. Also, I believe this not bomb region just has some generic, like, kill monsters and stuff here, so let's grab all these. Uh, quest. Yeah, Magna Forest. It's just not one of my favorite places. It's a little confusing to navigate, in my opinion. It's huge. Yeah. And, like, it's huge, confusing to navigate. And I think it's one of the less interesting areas of the game. Uh, wow, I, it, there's not really great stuff here. I'm going to be fully honest. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Mac and Bottom's not bad, though, compared to what we have on. I'm back again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me put this on. Get a Mac and bottom. Where's that topple resist? Put it back on. Oh, 
probably, you know, not do these. Probably lock on resist. Yeah, let's do that. Yep. All right, we got quests to do and stuff, but Bridge One, yay! The main thing here is gonna be the story that we have today. Like, this is a mostly story-based part, except for that time trial that I forgot to do last time. But like, hey, I'm time trial. Oh, but they got story in Magna Forest, which. Look at this! This is beautiful! I, I actually kind of like how it looks in the daytime a little more than the nighttime. Which is funny, because usually I like the nighttime areas a little more in Xenoblade, but nah, not this place. Still, ah, I do really like how it looks a lot. It, it, I do like that. Uh, okay, Magna Ferris, here's the first enemy we gotta beat for a uh, quest. Cool. Hammer beat! Beat! drive. Yep. Although I'm happy to be playing as Ryan here because it's been a while. Not bad. Not bad at all. Also, if you think I'm a little over leveled, I uh, stay away from that. Also, spiked enemy. We'll talk about spiked enemies in a bit. But uh, I don't feel like I'm over leveled. For the most part, like I think I'm okay. Level up. Like if you think I'm over leveled a bit, uh, you you have no idea what's in here. It's gonna get a little tricky. You're really getting into this right. Yep. I don't think I'm over leveled at all. I think I'm like just right on the levels, pretty much. Maybe a oh, slightly higher than usual, but it's not too big of a difference. It's nothing major. Levels. I also think it's gonna be a little bit of a pain to get all the Collectopedia stuff in here, if I remember correctly. I la God, okay, yes. I need uh, kelp mushrooms. Eight, yeah, eight kelp mushrooms, right. That's an annoying quest. That's an annoying quest. Yeah. Uh, see, the, this place has a lot for the Glockopedia. It's gonna be a little bit of the same. Phone over. Engage. Please focus on me. Or burst. A beat. Sword drive. Now Buster. Floppy crest. Can I actually have good items? Can I get good items from enemies, please? That would be much appreciated to actually have good items from the enemies. <sighs> yeah. Also, surprisingly already, this part's already gonna kinda almost... Uh, no, 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 not yet, actually. Uh, hello, Max Man. Oh, I need to beat you for a quest. Please come over here. Rhyme time, baby! Probably for doing, uh, like a hundred of Rhyme Tarts or something. And boom. Ah, like nice job. Oh, mustn't be careless. That's my thing, you know. Yeah, there's dinosaurs here! Which is cool! <laughs> I, I like dinosaurs a lot. Not too many games I can think of off the top of my head that have dinosaurs. I can think of Dino Crisis, but I haven't actually played Dino Crisis. I hear that's a good game. That's a game I need to play at some point. Ugh, come here. Uh, yeah, there's that. We'll have to come back to that later because it's blocking a little cave that has something for us later. Um, but for right now, we have an art cutscene. Over there. Hey, are you okay? You. Uh. Shulk, what's wrong? Another vision? 
kind of. I'm not sure. But first, she needs help. You're right. Let's look for somewhere safe. There. I see a clearing under a giant tree. We can easily watch for anything approaching. Okay. I'll carry her. She hasn't sustained any serious injuries, but her condition is far from stable. Do you know what's wrong with her? Her symptoms suggest ether deficiency. It's well known that Homs are strongly affected by ether levels in the environment. But I've never seen symptoms like this before. Hmm. A sudden drop in ether content in the surrounding atmosphere causes a reaction. Symptoms range from fatigue to nausea. But in this girl's case... What can we do? We're gonna need water-type ether crystals. I'll load the crystals into a cartridge to shoot from my rifle. Eh? You, you're gonna shoot her? No, silly. I'll fire them into the air and the dispersed ether will heal her. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. But the problem is the crystals. We can't just use any old crystal. They must be as pure as possible. This area must have a water source nearby. We should search there first. I spotted a waterfall a little way back. What do you think, Charlotte? Would a waterfall produce pure crystals? I can't think of a better place. Then it's decided. I'll search for the crystals. Hey, you're not going on your own. I'll be okay. I need you to look after the group. We're short on water, too, so I'll fill up our flasks. Hey, good idea. Take care, man. And we just have Shulk in the party. Fine, collect some water ether crystals. Oh, which is just a long walking trip while I avoid enemies because you do not want to fight enemies by yourself in this game. If that has not been clear already, due to the aggro system being a major thing. Like, yeah. We just gotta walk there. Oh, God. Uh, oh, jeez. Please. Uh, I need to be careful. I don't want you to notice me. Actually. That would be fantastic. Don't notice me. Alright, thank you. I'll go around this way so I can get this uh, item on. Yeah. Thank goodness the auto run thing is a thing. In the definitive edition, obviously in the original, yet I'll actually just hold the damn control stick all the way there when we're going down a pretty straight path for the most part. Yeah. Oh, you're like low level this where you won't bother with me. Cool. Even though I'm alone, thank god, that doesn't really change the aggro and how it works. I am gonna need to fight those freaking uh, caterpillar things. What were they called again? Uh, they're annoying, I don't like fighting them, but I... I'm all the way across. Sure, I can't fast travel there. I can! What am I saying? I can fast travel here, what am I doing? I'm stupid. I can fast travel. It's gonna hurt. Yep. <sighs> also, enemies such as Jojo Clawwings here, but there's gonna be another area where we can fight them, so I'm not gonna try fighting them. Eshul, I really am not. It's gonna hurt. Again! Ah! Four benign crickets. Yeah, okay. Uh, I get it. Frontier Village has a lot of quests. Like, uh... Man, we're already done with the vegetable section of this. Sleepers is three. That's pretty nice. I think there's at least one or two enemies that uh, get affected by that have a sleep thing here. Yeah, yeah. Once I go on one of these climbable walls, enemies will not attack me. <laughs> Lemonade Sky. I remember needing a few of these, and, but they can be a pain in the butt to get. So I guess it's pretty nice that I got one here. We need a lot of stuff for Macro Forest as well. So yeah. I... Anyways, it's a uh, red item ore here, so I'll go grab Lakeside. Yay. Uh, actually, before I grab the red item ore, I need this. 
grab the actual ether deposit crystals. Are you? Hello there. Uh, uh, hello. How unusual. It is quite rare to see a Homs in this region. I... <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why I am here in that case. Then permit me to introduce myself. My name is Alvis. Alvis? Um, my name's... It's Shulk. Isn't it? Uh, how did you know that? Wielder of the Monado, defender of Colony 9, the hero that has every mech on running. You're famous amongst all Homs. I know you from somewhere. They're here. Huh? The Monado emits a particular ether wavelength in its ground state. It must have drawn them. Huh? Oh! What are they? Alvis! Get out of the way! I'll deal with this myself. From the left, then I'll go. Before it struck, how can it? <coughs> it is a telethia. Telethia. They can read your mind, whether you have a vision or not. If they know your next move, it's all in vain. You, you know about my visions. How could you possibly? There is only one way: stop it in its tracks. Then dull its perception. No, Alvin, stop! You don't know how to... Huh? A new symbol! I suggest you stop staring. The sword is yours to wield. What was that light? The Monado does not control itself. You control it. I... control it. By the light of the Monado. I will stop them. All right, well. Yep, I can't be all this. But this is the only time in the game I believe he is in your party, so I'm going to check him out. Claymore, undefeatable six, of course. Of course. Probably crafted by Alvis. It's similar to a Han sword. Yeah. Wonderful. If I can get a chain attack and show off his, uh, his art, that'd be great. You want to learn, Shulk Purge. Using Purge to remove the monster's or to prevent it from getting another or. It also can remove spikes. Oh god, we'll talk about spikes. It's one thing as Aura Solar Reed is particularly strong. Using Purge to eliminate before attacking. Remember to reply to town game for auto attacking. Oh god, Purge. 
It can definitely be helpful, but oh yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. So we're going to inflict the aura seal here. So yeah, we seal that. So this specific one can't do it, or I maybe forgot how fucking Palethia Solary freaking work. Hi, oh, yeah, yeah. Come on. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, here we go. Perch. A little fucked up on how it works. There we go. Yeah, please focus, Albus. Yeah, Albus, please focus on this. And then take care of this one with Perch. I'm working on it. Oh god, who's attacking me? That one. That one. Okay. Miss. Oh, it's just gonna miss. Okay, that's fine. Why even warn me about that if you're gonna miss? It would be kind of nice if Elvis could take the aggro. Dun 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 dun. dun. Come on. Yeah, I'm not getting a chase back off. No. I am not getting a chase back off. No chase back. I wanted to see what our Salvas has, but I'm not getting a chase back, so that's not happening. It's gonna miss anyways, oh for fuck's sake. Why even warn me if you were gonna miss anyways? Whatever, I'm not a buster. <laughs> well, you see now, Shulk? Hmm. Thank you. Hey, wait a second. More importantly, where on Bionis did you learn to use the Monado? <laughs> they were not the primary Telethia. Merely at spawn. The primary Telethia dwells elsewhere in Magna Forest. Is it... wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest. Wounded by a girl. A girl? The Monado is a divine sword capable of disturbing the very fabric of existence of both the material and the immaterial. Alvis, how do you know so much about the Monado? Who are you? Shulk! Shulk! Huh? That's Ryan. I'm over here! Shulk, we looked all over for you. Thought you'd been eaten by the forest. Sorry, Ryan. I got attacked by Telethia. If it hadn't been for Alvis, I wouldn't have survived. Alvis? Who's that? I'll introduce you. He's the one that... Alvis? But he was... Uh, there's no one here. I'm telling you, he was right here. He even taught me how to unlock a new power from the Monado. Just you and me, Shulk. Ain't no one else around. You probably passed out from dehydration and dreamt this guy up. Come on. Wait till the others hear this. <laughs> he was here, Ryan. I didn't dream it. I'm not lying. Okay, okay. I believe you. And while you were having fun with your imaginary friend, did you find any ether crystals? Yes. Good quality ones, too. Perfect. Come on, we should hurry them back to Sharla. Hang around here long enough and we'll get whacked by an imaginary beast. <laughs> I'm not lying. Alvis, who are you?
An enemy that renders your visions useless. This forest holds many surprises. Not least creatures we've never seen before. And now we know there is another who can use the Monado. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to meet him. So you weren't just having a sneaky nap then? No. I'm just saying. You and Dunban are the only ones I know that can wield the Monado. How would this guy know how? Okay, locked and loaded. Everyone, stand back. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah, she's coming round. All thanks to our medic. Are you okay? Where am I? Everything's fine. You're gonna be... <gasps> Get your hands off me! Ah! Hey, watch it! F forgive me. I... I did not mean to... Uh, sorry if we surprised you. Are you the ones who helped me? Well, something like that. Excuse me. My name is Melia. Forgive my indiscretion. I have not had the pleasure of coming into contact with the male Homs. Coming into contact? Hey, Shulk. You're creeping this lady out. Mm. Shut up, Ryan. This large one is far worse. Me? <laughs> <laughs> Melia, is it? How did you get here, then? What, is there no one with you? I must apologize, but my situation does not concern you. And I shall not be divulging anything to common passers-by. Duly noted, your ladyship. But if I were to be so bold, I'm guessing that you didn't come here alone. And you weren't just taking an afternoon nap. <laughs> and what, may I ask, are you doing here? It is rare to see Homs venture this deep into Machna Forest. We're traveling to the head of the Bionis. We've got a long journey ahead of us. The head of the Bionis? We were just figuring out how to get there when we found you. I see. Then permit me to return the favor by aiding you in your quest. Really? There is only one path to the head of the Bionis. It is the path that leads to Erith Sea. So, this Erith Sea is at the head of the Bionis? If you would be kind enough to escort me out of the forest, I will show you the way. You... you do that? Thank you, Melia. I'm Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Shulk? Ah, yes. Likewise. <sighs> she's a bit high and mighty. But she's a Homs too, right? Why is she here alone? Ain't got a clue. Ask her yourself. I'm not good with her posh accent. We shall travel to the Nopon village. Nopon village? That's where we've been heading. We reckon it's our best chance of making it to the top. Since inhabiting the region, the Nopon have been a great help. You can travel to Erith Sea from their village. It's settled. We'll make our way to the Nopon village. Very well. The Nopon inhabit a giant tree. If we follow this trail, we will be safe. few things to go over. First of all, in that cutscene with Alice, you probably noticed he has a necklace around him. That necklace was not there in the original Xenoblade Chronicles. That was added in the Definitive Edition, and I can't really talk about why it's there and what it means without spoiling Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So if you don't know what the necklace is about, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Straight up, just play that game. <laughs> After playing this one. Secondly, Melia. Okay. I like Melly as a character, but when it comes to actually using her in battle, uh, well, oh god, I don't want to do this, probably this. I never end up using healing if so I'm going to switch that. Let's see here. Um, oh god. 
Uh, I definitely want to upgrade Burst End twice at least. Spear Break is going to get upgraded twice. Uh, I'll upgrade this once. Summon Bolt! I'm going to just fully upgrade. I'll upgrade Summon Aqua once, even though I rarely use it. Uh, and I'll upgrade Shadow Snitch a bit. Um, Melia, I do... Yes, I get it. We got Manal Perch now, which I, I'm going to upgrade twice over. Um, I do like Melia as a character, but when it comes to actually using her, I... Oh yeah, we don't have a lot of good stuff for Melia to actually use. Let me just put some ether stuff. Um, oh god. Probably AP up. Um, oh god, not that. Uh, slow resist? I definitely don't want her to be slowed. And then... Uh, I'm just going to that could be a little bit of a pain with Melia. I don't really find myself very good at using her. In fact, I usually trust the AI to use her more than me. I'm not super great using her. I like her as a character, but using her in battle I struggle with, so it's going to be interesting. Magnavorous onwards, you encounter monsters with spike abilities. Oh boy, these monsters can automatically deal damage and inflict debuffs on party members or in circumstances, or can just damage you. <laughs> or can yeah, damage you or inflict debuffs such as strength down or slow or whatever. Spike damage cannot be less by increasing physical or need of defense. There are different types of spike ability. Counter spike monster do damage or inflicts debuffs when attacked. Down spike monster deals damage or inflicts debuffs when suffer attack if it, when it's suffering a topple. That sucks because you cannot tell if an enemy has a topple spike or not until it's been toppled. That sucks. In close spike, the monster do damage or inflicts debuffs if a party member gets too close. Again, you can't tell the difference between these spikes. You can just tell it until it happens. So that sucks. You can use an Alma or Purge or Spike Defense gems that are really great. Bear in mind counter spike abilities can be neutralized by inflicting topple. Spikes were an addition that were added like pretty late game from what I understand. They were added like very late into the game's development, so it's no wonder that they suck and I don't like them. Um this. And I guess Aqua. So so Malia kind of acts as a little bit of a buffer. Uh, if you summon stuff and then stay near party members, you do have to be kind of close to party members. Uh, they can they can be buffed, such as their ether and their attack strength and whatnot. You can also dispel the the elements with an elemental discharge and do tons of damage. Do damage. I'm not the great. Ooh, I do need all seeing eyes, I believe. I. I'm not the greatest at using her. Do not get me wrong. Uh, yeah, Aqua here regenerates HP, which I don't really use. Yeah, let's chain attack this. So, elemental discharge. Sword drive. Please go. Good job, everyone. Nicely done. Elder Gragas, that's a unique monster, let's try it. Clean her up and then regenerate. Yeah, regenerate HP. Find it. Sleep for a bit. Ah, uh, let the thing slow on it. Healing gifts, aggravated if you can restore you for I never use that! On her because Melia mm, doesn't have a lot of HP if you don't can't tell. Freaking get me her up. Rhyme, please. Come on, dumb man, please. Uh, fuck it, I'll do it once. Just because. Oh, come on, I was in the middle of something. Ugh. Oh. 
Yeah, great. We're already in a bad spot. Wonderful. I feel it, dumbass. We all know if I'm finished here. Now is the time to shine. Go to sleep. I'm busy. It's like slow. Ah, oh, resist. No, it's still got slow off. Good. Oh, this is not good! And I said, not super great at using Melia properly. I'm probably doing stuff wrong! Don't care. Don't add regenerate to us! To yourself, please. Uh, slow again. Air slice one. Ah, God, how do I want to handle that? That's it. How do I want to handle that? Maybe somewhat troublesome. Leave it to me. Tempest King! Oh, Tempest King! Uh, yeah, this isn't good. I'm looking forward to the result. Get up. Don't regenerate back up, uh... Fear break. Go to sleep for a second. Well, yeah. Alright, I think I can finish it! Oh, jeez, I... Ugh. Good. Oh, okay, we got it. Oh, I'll sing I Queen Frog. Oh, we cannot use Queen Frog yet. Serpent Boots, though. Serpent Boots, though, I can use. Well, I can't use. <laughs> Needs to be someone who can wear medium armor. Oh my god. Wait, yes. Alright, anyway, so uh, yeah, you can see I'm already struggling with using Melia again. I'm not good at using her, so if you see me not using her a lot, Outside of the beginning of the game, it means that because I'm not good at using here. Straight up. Aqua. Yes. Anyone? I can see this isn't pushing you at all. Ow. On the frontier village. Jeez. <sighs> yeah, you can tell I'm not very good at using Melia. She's not. She's gonna be someone I like having in the party, but not usually as someone I like playing as. I do see her uses, but I'm just bad at using her personally, and I just trust the AI to use her better than me. When I trust the AI to be better at the game than myself, that's, that's not great. Uh, if you guys have any tips for how to use Melia a little better than how I'm using her, then please go right ahead because I am not super great at using her. Yay. Yeah, go to sleep. I'm slow. Come on. Well. Yeah, please die. Yes, it's the final one. Please kill it. Chain attack! Bubble! That's right. Timing is everything. Remember that. I cannot thank you enough. Floppy crust. I don't need floppy crust. Jeez, stop giving me floppy crust. I don't need them. 
They're not an item I remember ever really needing. But at least off the top of my head. Oh, another one for getting the uh, Come on. We dance. We choose to fight. Blossom dance. Yeah, I hear you. It's like slow. Blaze. It is nice to get blaze inflicted. Oh, for f Come on. I'm gonna do that. Ah, uh, do this! Manifest yourself! 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 Manifest Hey guys, stay away. Yeah, I... Maybe I'll try using Melia a little bit more to get used to her, but I, I guess I said, I'm not good at using Melia. Uh, I am not good at using her at all. Again, I think she's a great character, I and I think that uh, the AI does a pretty good job of using her. I understand her role on the team. I'm just not good at using her myself. Now this, the enemies will leave me alone. As you can tell, the enemies are getting harder. I, when I said that I was not over level, I meant it. They're getting slowly closer to my level. Twisted Tree Gate. Yay. Good. Taruga. Yeah, Terra Wars, which are huge, but they're only level 31 and 2s. So, yeah. As long as they don't see me when I'm up here, I'll be fine. Bum, 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 bum. But we have this bridge right here. I, what's the cutscene here? Um. Village entrance. This is the entrance to Frontier Village. So this big tree is where the Nopon live. Ah, Bird Lady. Welcome back, Bird Lady. I wish to speak with the village chief. Will you permit us to enter? My pleasure, my pleasure. I shall take you to the village chief. Follow me. Frontier Village. Melia Antigua has returned. I request an audience with your chief. Chief, 
Will you hear my request? Melia here. Bad lady here. Uh, Melia back. Bad lady back. Bird lady? My dear Melia, it's good to see you again so soon. And you look so well. And what of your men? They are at one with the Bionis. They sacrificed their lives so that I might escape. But this is not my reason for coming. These Homs need your help. Will you be so kind as to listen to their request? What could a Hom Hom need of me? They require safe passage to Aerith Sea. I see no reason to deny them. And Melia, what of you? I have unfinished business in this region. Once these Homs are safely on their way, I shall be on mine as well. That girl. Something's troubling her. We found her half dead and all alone. But I don't suppose she'll tell us the reason any time soon. Maybe we can help. I'll go and talk to her. Right, well, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be it for now. I wanted to end this before getting into the Frontier Village, but uh, I wanted to end it like, the outskirts, but okay, I guess cuts can stop me. But yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Um... Oh god, uh, I'm gonna have, so, yeah, and then with how this is gonna go, okay. So, next time on Xenoblade Chronicles, we will, I know this probably couldn't be one of the shorter parts we've had in a while, but, hey, uh, Magma Force, as I said, is huge, there's a lot here, Frontier Village, as I said, is, Frontier Village, it's by far one of the biggest villages in the entire game, in fact, B1, Ground floor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then, so that's nine, ten floors. That's ten floors! And there are tons of side quests here. A lot we won't be doing right away here. Um, but yeah, there's a lot. And there's also a ton of more quests that have opened up in Colony 9. Including some stuff we haven't done as, as well. Because I've just been waiting to get Malia in the party so that she can comment. Even though she's not in the party right now, we'll get her back. <laughs> so next time on Xenoblade Chronicles, we will be doing tons of side quests back in Colony 9. And maybe Frontier Village as well. I don't know. <laughs> the side quests in Colony 9 are going to take a while. But that will be it for now. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next part where we're going to meet my second favorite character in the entire game. <laughs> See you guys then!